Good day and welcome to an active knocker tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to integrate your Zapier account with your Google Sheets and your active knocker account. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the mobile application and at the bottom right hand side, you will see there is a more tab. Let's click on that. After we click on that, scroll to your configuration section. And the first thing you will see is an integrations tab. Let's click on that. So here at the bottom right hand side, you will see now there is an option for a Zapier integration. By default, it's turned off. So let's turn it on. That's the first step. Now that we have this turned on, let's click back. And the next thing we're going to want to do is go to your configuration section again and then choose pins. And what this is, is we want to let Active Knocker zap only particular pins. So in this case, I'm just going to give you an example of one of them. Let's do sale completed. So on sale completed, the configuration of this pin, you will see at the bottom there is zap this pin and by default it's turned off. So let's turn it on. So when we turn it on, we have multiple options here, auto zap and push to zap. Auto zap means every time a rep drops this pin on the map, it will automatically zap the pin. If it's push to zap, it's a two step process. When the rep drops this pin, there will be an option on the pop-up that says push this to actually zap this pin. So it's up to you which way you want to do it. In this case, I'm going to choose auto zap and I'm going to choose all the fields that I like over here. Let's hit save. Okay, we're here from a web browser and in the web browser, the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to your Google Sheets. And remember, in this case, Zapier is integrated with multiple endpoints. I'm just going to show you how to do a Google Sheets, which means every time a rep drops a pin on the map, it's going to automatically zap and send the endpoint to Google Sheets. So you're going to want to go and log into your Google Drive and create a sheet. I just created this one and I called it Sales from Active Knocker. You can call it whatever you want. Now, when you have this sheet open, everyone will want different data to be automatically populated in this sheet from Active Knocker. So for this demo sake, I just created creation date, customer first name, customer last name, customer phone number, customer email. You can call these headers whatever you want. It does not have to match the exact field inside of Active Knocker because this is just going to auto populate the data from Active Knocker in the sheet. And also, you may have a question of how is it going to map the fields from Active Knocker, the data from Active Knocker in these fields? Well, you're going to see that once we start the integration with Zapier, it'll map it, it'll ask for it. So let's get started to that. Let's head over to another web browser and let's log in to our Zapier account. Do note, you have to have your own Zapier account to make this work. And Zapier, by default, on their lower pet plan, will automatically zap every 15 minutes, which means any data that you drop on the map, like you drop pins in Active Knocker, every 15 minutes, it'll automatically zap it into wherever your endpoint is. So sign up with them, take a look at their different plans. You, there are ones they do have that are faster, but that's just that by default. So let's log into our account. Perfect. We are now logged in to our Zapier account. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a zap with this plus icon on the upper left hand side. It says plus create zap. Let's click that. Okay, it's asking for a trigger. It states a trigger is an event that starts your zap. So this is the program in which it is coming from. In this case, we want it to come from Active Knocker. And yes, we created this application with Zapier. So it's already there for your taking. Just choose Active Knocker. Now it's asking for an event. Here you'll see new pin. Triggers when a new pin is created. 
Pretty simple stuff. This means every time a pin is dropped on the map with the configuration set we did in Active Knocker, it's going to zap the data. So let's just choose new pin. Awesome. Then let's hit continue. Okay, now it's asking you to sign in to your Active Knocker account. So any user that wants to zap pins can sign into their Active Knocker account. If it's an admin, perhaps the admin owner of Active Knocker wants to zap pins to whatever data sheets they want, they can sign in with their actual account. So let's click sign in, and this is going to be the login information of your actual Active Knocker account. This is what marries the two together. So let's log in with that. Beautiful. It's now signed in and connected as you see. Let's hit continue. Okay, here is where it's connected and it's asking to test your trigger. If you want to test the trigger to make sure it's connected correctly, just head over to your Active Knocker app and actually drop a sale completed pin and you will see it actually pull the data directly from Active Knocker. That's up to you. You don't have to do this, but it's good to do it just so you can see the actual integration completed at this point. So let's head over back to the app and I'm going to show you exactly that. Awesome. So we're in the mobile application once again. Let's just zoom in and drop a pin. And we're going to drop the sale completed one because that's the one we actually integrated. And let's click on it. And let's add some information here. First name, let's call it Mark Johnson. And let's hit save. Perfect. Let's go back to the web application and take a look if it caught the test trigger. There we go. It just found a pin. And in this case, when it's doing a test, it will sometimes pull that last pin that we just created, or it may find some random one inside of your data. So it found this pin. It's connected well. Let's click continue. Now, next it's asking for the action. This, it says, an action is an event a zap performs after it starts. So in other words, where is it going to? In this case, we want it to go to Google Sheets. Remember, they are integrated Zapier with multiple endpoints. In this example, I'm gonna show you Google Sheets. Okay, now we're, we have Google Sheets selected. Let's choose an event. In this case, we're going to create an actual row, which means every time we drop a pin in Active Knocker and it wants to pull the data from Active Knocker, it's going to create a new row with that information from the pin. So let's create a spreadsheet row. Let's hit continue. So now it's asking to sign into your Google account so that it can marry the final endpoint, which is the Google Sheets. Just sign in with your Google account. Awesome. We're almost there. It's now connected to the Google Sheets account. Let's click continue. Now it's asking which drive is it going to connect to? I just have it called my Google Drive. If you have your own name for your Google Drive, you'll see it there in the list because now it's actually integrated with your Google account. So it'll start pulling information from your Google account. So which spreadsheet? If you recall, I created this one called Sales from Active Knocker. So for this particular zap, I'm going to want it to fill data in this particular sheet. So let's select that. And next it's asking which worksheet? Here, we're gonna choose sheet one. And what that is, if you go to any sheet, you'll see at the bottom here, there's sheet one, sheet two, you can create multiple sheets. And every time data is dropped, do you want it on this sheet? Or perhaps you want it on your second one? You can get as detailed as you like. But let's go back. 
And now it's asking, it automatically pulled from the Google sheet, these headers in which we created, create a date, customer first name. If you go back, create a date, customer first name. So whatever you put here, it'll automatically pull that. So now it wants to map which data inside of Active Knocker is it going to fill inside of the Google Sheet. So let's choose create a date. What do I want? Let me type date in here and you can filter. Let me select it here, date. Okay, so it's not gonna be created last name. It's gonna be created date and time. There we go, that's the one I want. And let's choose the next field. It's asking for the customer's first name. So I can search for first. So it's not the created first name. Created first name is the user that created it. It's the customer's first name. Let's choose that one. And the customer's last name. I could just search for last. And it's the customer's last name. Phone number. Choose phone. Customer's phone number. That's the one. And the customer's email. Type email. You'll see the different options you have here. It's not the created first name. Let's search in here. It's the customer's email. And let's click continue. Awesome. So now we're going to test this final action, the whole complete integration. Let's see if we did it correctly. It looks like we did. And now it's ready to be published. Last, just hit publish. and it is now good to go live. So if I go to the sheet, you will see it will actually pull some data directly from the test. But for this demonstration, I'm going to now head back over to Active Knocker, and I'm going to drop a pin on the map and show you in approximately 15 minutes how it updates the data in this actual sheet. And before you do that, you may want to also name this zap like active knocker first zap or whatever you want to call it. So let's head over to the mobile application and let's test this out. Awesome. So we're here in the mobile application and let's drop a pin that's sleeping on this map. Now remember this pin sleeping, we did not choose for the information on this pin to zap. So it will not be zapped over to your spreadsheet. However, the sale completed pin, if I were to drop it on the map and then click and add some more information here, you will notice that in 15 minutes in which I will show you, it will automatically zap this information directly into that spreadsheet. Hit the save button and voila. Let's wait for this information to be zapped automatically over to our sheet. There you have it. The data now got carried over from Active Knocker using Zapier directly to your Google Sheet. Do remember, you can integrate your final endpoint to whatever Zapier is integrated with in which you want to have as your final endpoint. And do remember as well that it's every 15 minutes. So as reps are dropping on the map, it'll automatically start populating this sheet and updating it. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for being an amazing Active Knocker client of ours. And if you have any questions, do feel free to reach out to us. Support at ActiveKnocker.com. Thank you.